Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all MX vs ATV games on the PSP. MX vs ATV on the Edge, also called Unleashed on the Edge, is impressive. The game came out in 2006. It was one of the early PSP games that proved how capable the PSP actually was. It's a port of MX vs ATV Unleashed, a game for the PS2, and the translation is impressive. Very little was lost during translation. On the Edge is a tremendous effort, packed with a shocking variety of game types, vehicles, gear and tracks. There are 7 race types. You get freestyle arenas, around 70 tracks and 5 vehicle classes. You also can customize your vehicles and your character and each mode is very detailed. Even the freestyle category has multiple challenges. Though in freestyle, you need some time to get used to how to do the tricks. But once you get used to them, this mode is very refreshing. You will get into free room to do tricks without any competition or a timer. That's how fun the game can get. The content is gigantic. It even exceeds the title. Because from the title, you would expect that the game only has MX bikes and ATVs. But no, you get golf carts buggies, monster trucks, the game is amazing. The only real problem with the game will be the loading times. They are exorbitantly long, annoyingly long, but in my opinion the long loading times are justified by some really great gameplay, filled chock full of content. MX vs ATV Untamed isn't all that great. The controls are different, they aren't necessarily better or worse, they are different and more forgiving. They are a combination of arcade and simulation. They still feel well though. But aside of the different controls, everything else is pretty much a downgrade. Track design isn't always great. There are times where the ramp is poorly placed so that you either need some great skills or pure luck to land the jump. And this leads for some frustrating moments when you compete for points. Also, some item placement in some of the levels is frustrating. In the other one, there were some very underwhelmingly placed objects or checkpoints on the map here and there. It was rare, but it happened. But here, it's even worse. This doesn't mean that the whole game is frustrating, it's just that from time to time, even more often than in the first game, some ill-placed objects on the map will get in your nerves. Also another change that isn't welcomed, I didn't like it nor other reviewers did, is that in order to unlock vehicles you have to complete challenges, like total career airtime or total trick points, and what is annoying about this is that you just find the vehicle unlocked, but you need to google the requirements for each vehicle. Honestly, I prefer the system where you bought vehicles with money, instead of this system. And even the content is a big step down. The previous game had around 70 tracks. This one has 8 locations with various activities in them. Which you can actually reduce to just 8 tracks. As all of the activities take place in the same space. And since maps are almost empty, everywhere you will go in that map is kind of the same. The maps are really disappointing. The amount of detail in them is below PSP standards, and in this almost empty maps, they manage to misput ramps and objects. And not only this, but the collision is a nightmare. You can't tell which objects has its barrier at what distance, until you see for yourself. If a space looks like it's big enough for your car to pass through, you'll be surprised how far the invisible barrier stretches out. And to make things worse, there is no backwards button. You can't go backwards. But on the good side, you get more vehicle classes. You get snowmobiles too. But this comes with a price. In the previous game, you had some awesome customization menu. Here, you can only change the color of your vehicles. And even the colors aren't that plenty. I don't know what happened. How could they make this game so bad after having a decent gameplay and formula for the first game. I mean, if I were the CEO, 
I would have told my employees to make a similar game to On Edge, but slap more vehicle categories and add a story based career mode maybe. Overall the game is horrible, but at least the music is good. Maybe I'm too harsh on the game, and some of you might like it, but it's hard for me to recommend it, with so many flaws. IGN gave it a 7, so the game is decent I guess. I do agree that it's playable, but it's not one of my favorites, so to say. MX vs ATV Reflex isn't a port of the PS3 and 360 versions. Those games are awesome, whereas on the PSP, the game has many flaws. If the controls in the previous game were a mixed bag, in Reflex, they are a nightmare. For example, braking is useless in the game. If you break, you will lose to your opponents. The best bet is to just accelerate and steer. And since you don't get good controls in a racing game, that's pretty much game over for that racing game. But on the upside, the game looks pretty good, too bad that its gameplay isn't as good as it looks. On another upside, the game has 24 tracks, and track details are fairly good, unlike the empty wildlands from the previous game. But on another downside, the variety of vehicles went down, and customization isn't as satisfying as in the first game. In Reflex, customization is stat-based and aesthetic changes are only in the color of the vehicles. It's beyond me how the games went downhill. The first game was promising. It had some downsides here and there like the horrendous loading times or the learning curve that it took you some time to master the controls that sometimes fell stiff or getting used to some not so great placed checkpoints or objects, but overall the game is great and it has some gigantic amount of content to use that good gameplay to good use. Then the second game made Collision almost a nightmare and cut out the big pile of content, maps looked empty and the last one polished the second one, it added more content but still couldn't get as good as the first one, in my opinion. What happened? Now, these are my opinions. Maybe you see the situation different. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or what your opinion is on this PSP game series. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.